So it's been a little while since the last video update and I thought I'd give you one. Uh, it's a little chilly today but it's warming up. It looks like we're at around uh, 50 degrees or so. Uh, the mushroom experiments are going very well. I've been trying uh, a few different methods uh, to grow the mushrooms aquaponically. And in here it's pretty darn humid. Let's see here. Inside temp around 80 degrees. Uh, this is some finished flax that I'll be growing. I've been using this uh, for as a mushroom substrate. Uh, fish tank uh, is still going. Uh, the fish are kicking back. The water temperature is fairly cold, so they're not eating much right now. Uh, there's the biofilter. Uh, this is the one experiment um, that I've been trying, which is integrating the mint along with the mushrooms right now. It's hard to tell, but I'm growing some, or I'm trying to grow some um, king oyster mushrooms in there. Let's see, maybe I can lift this up real quick and give you guys a peek. So these are a couple of big cakes that I'm trying to integrate with the mint in here. Uh, and hopefully they will produce. I've been having bad luck with the kings, uh, mostly due to contamination. Uh, hopefully these guys will produce something before they contaminate. These guys, though, are the star of the shows. This is the... Um, the oyster mushrooms that are integrated directly into a flood and grow into a flood and drain grow bed. As you can see, the uh, fresh air exchange looks pretty good because they're they don't have a lot of stem. They're mostly all caps, um, and you can see the bouquets are pretty big. That's probably about a 500 gram or so bouquet, and there's uh, some more in the back. And of course, this is where. I harvested some. Uh, this over here are some logs that I've been messing around with that are starting to colonize. These are blue oysters. And hopefully these guys are start fruiting soon. Down here are some blue oysters that, um, that basically started sprouting off of a container that I was using uh, with some grain spawn. Uh, but I just, I'm just going to go ahead and let them go. Uh, not really taking care of them too well. And let's see if we can peek in here. Yeah. Yeah, the logs are doing pretty well. And it looks like I may have a mushroom. It looks like we're starting to get some primoria maybe. But uh, I'll have to check back on these later. Uh... Yeah, it looks like they're not fruiting yet, uh, but hopefully pretty soon they will start. Uh, the composting system is full of uh, mushroom substrate, and that should make a pretty good, um, a pretty good uh, compost for growing peppers and things like that. And here's the the grow bed. As you can see, I'm starting to grow more flax everywhere for the mushrooms. Uh, there's some asparagus that's popping up. And this, I thought, was a moringa tree, but actually it might be an elderberry bush, as somebody pointed out. Uh, here's the onions, and of course here's uh, the moringa tree that hopefully this summer will start bushing out really nicely. That's pretty much it for now. Uh, you guys have an awesome day, and I'll keep you guys updated.